Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, there were three bears. There was a great big father bear, a middle-sized mother bear, and a little baby bear. They lived together in a house in a wood. One morning, mother bear made porridge for breakfast and filled three bowls with it. There was a great big bowl for father bear, a middle-sized bowl for herself, the little bowl for baby bear. At first, the porridge was too hot to eat. The bears did not to burn their mouths. So they went to a walk in the wood while the porridge cooled. That day, a little girl went for a walk in the same wood. She had golden curls, and everybody called her Goldilocks. Sometimes she stopped to pick up a flower, or to listen to a bird. Soon she came to the house where the three bears lived. Oh, what a lovely little house! said Goldilocks. I wonder who lives here. She knocked at the door, and as there was no answer, she knocked again and again. Then she peeped through the keyhole. But of course there were three bears walked out for a walk. There was no one to out of the door. I'll just look inside thought Goldilocks. The door is not locked. So she lifted the latch, opened the door and went in. The first thing she saw was the bear's three chairs. She climbed into Father Bear's great big chair. Oh, it's too hard, she said. Then she tried Mother Bear's middle-sized chair. Oh, it's too soft. Then she sat down in Baby Bear's little chair. Oh, it isn't too hard and it isn't too soft. It's just right. But Godalus was too heavy for the little chair and she broke the bottom out of it. Then Goldilocks smelled porridge, and she saw the three barrels of porridge on the table. She was very hungry, and she had not any breakfast. I'll eat a little, she said. First, she tried the porridge in Father Bear's great big bowl. But it was too hot. Next, she tried the porridge in Mother Bear's middle-sized bowl. But then it was too cold. Then she tried the porridge in Baby Bear's little bowl. It wasn't too hot and it wasn't too cold. It was just white. And Goldilocks ate up all the porridge in Baby Bear's little bowl. Then Goldilocks decided to go upstairs and see what was there. She saw three beds. Father Bear's great big bed and Mother Bear's middle-sized bed and Baby Bear's little bed. They were all neat and tidy. First, she lay on the great big bed. Oh, it's too hard. Then she lay on the middle-sized bed. Oh, it's too soft. Then she lay on the little bed. Oh, this bed isn't too hot and it isn't too soft. It's just right. Goldilocks was so comfortable that she soon fell fast to sleep with her head on the baby bear's pillow. After a while, the three bears came.
came back for their walk. They saw the porridge would not be cool enough to eat. As soon as they entered the house, Father Bear saw that his chair was not in its right place. Someone has been sitting on my chair, he said in a great big voice. Mother Bear saw that her cushion was rumpled. Someone has been sitting on my chair, she said in a middle-sized voice. Then Baby Bear had a look at his chair. Someone has been sitting on my chair and he's broken the bottom right out, he said in his little baby voice. Then they look at their balls of porridge on the table. Father Bear saw that his spoon was not in its place. Someone has been eating my porridge, he said in a great big voice. Mother Bear noticed that her spoon was in the bowl. Someone has been eating my porridge. She said in a middle-sized voice. Baby Bear, look at his ball. Someone has been eating my porridge, and he's eating all up, he said in a little baby voice. Let's go upstairs and look at the bedroom, said Father Bear, and they all went upstairs. Father Bear saw that his blanket was rumpled. Someone has been lying on my bed, he said in a great big voice. Mother Bear saw that her pillow was not quite in its place. Someone has been lying on my bed, she said, middle-sized voice. The baby bear. Look at his bed. Someone has landed on, my, on the bed, and she's lying there still, he cried in a little baby voice. Now her father was speaking, his great voice sounded deep like a thunder, but Goldilocks did not wake up. When Mother Bear was speaking her middle-sized voice, it sounded like the wind in the trees, but Goldilocks did not wake up. Only when Baby Bear cried in his true baby voice, Goldilocks woke and sat up in bed. She was very surprised and frightened to see three bears in the room with their little lies on her. She was out of bed in a moment, and down the stairs, and out of the door, and she never stopped running till she got back to her own home. She had got such a fright that she never went for a walk in the wood again to look for the little house.